guys and good afternoon ladies and gentlemen welcome once again to big stone television as you know the series continues the series of us paying our respect to our great musicians singers and players of instruments those great ones who are still here with us today and those who have simply gone too soon today I'm gonna be talking about an icon a legend a pioneer we're talking about none other than master drummer master percussionist Lloyd Nib Lloyd Nib was born on the 8th of March 1931 he was a Jamaican drummer who was considered Jamaica's most important and influential modern drummer a master percussionist he contributed to every style of this nation's popular and not so popular musical forms including jazz mento boro nayabingi rocksteady and by extension reggae he's most well known for his contribution to the development of the rhythm of the ska he played for the scatterlights in the 1960s up to his death and for Tommy McCook and the Supersonics. Nib recorded for the producers Lloyd Matador Daly and Duke Reed. Born in Kingston, Jamaica, Nib grew up on Barn Street, close to where a local band rehearsed, and he made his own drum kit from a wooden box and paint cans to practice the sounds that he had heard. A lot of musicians in the 1940s he honed his craft in jazz band. His first professional engagement was with the Val Bennett Band, with whom he played for six years. He also played with Count Aziz's group, adding Burrow and Nyabingi to his repertoire, and he regularly accompanied Rastafarian leader Sam Brown at meetings. He's worked with Eric Dean's band, where he gained the technical skills to play many styles. Dean's set lists include the big band music of Glenn Miller, as well as the popular dances of the day, rumba, cha-cha-cha, and bolero. And his tenure in the band coincided with future major figures in ska, such as Tammy McCook, Papa Brooks, and Lloyd Brevet. Nip's technical proficiency and wide knowledge of style soon led him to be featured on the recording of Cox and Dad, Prince Buster, Sonia Pattinger, and Duke Reed, playing an instrumental part in the development of ska. Neb gained his widest audience, however, as a drummer of the Scatterlights. They recorded for the Treasure Isle, Duke Reed, Studio One, Clement Dad, and Top Hat, Philip Yap labels releasing ska music in the 1960s to an audience that responded to a rhythm that was uniquely Jamaican. Neb, along with other original Scatterlight members, reformed to play in the Reggae Sunsplash concert in Montego Bay, Jamaica in July 1983. The success of the reunion led to the reformation of the Scatterlights as a full-time touring band of which Nib remained a member until his death in 2011. He played his last show in Peru on the 23rd of April 2011 with local band Vija Skina as the opening act. In his later years, Nibs resided in Hull, Massachusetts with his longtime friend and fellow musician John and his wife Adele. His son Dion playing the Boston based ska band Dion Nib and the Agitators. Nib's contribution to Jamaican music was recognized by the Prime Minister's Award, the Order of Distinction, Officer Class, the Silver Musgrave Medal, and induction into the Jamaican Music Hall of Fame. Nib was taken ill while on tour in Brazil on the 12th of May 2011 after being ill for some time with liver cancer and receiving treatment in the US. He was told by doctors 
that he only had days to live. Ned traveled back to his home in St. Andrew, Jamaica to be among his family and friends. Later that day, the great Lloyd Nib died at age 80. An article came out in the Jamaica Gleaner on the 16th of May 2011 and they were talking about the legendary, the pioneer, the icon, Lloyd Nib. They simply say that Nib was simply the most important and influential modern drummer this country has ever produced. A master percussionist, he contributed to every style of this nation popular and not so popular musical forms. As a drummer, he established a rhythmic syntax through bold innovative advances, a synthesis of styles that set the rules for rhythmic structure and later informed every drummer interested in Jamaican beats in terms of the logic and structure of popular dance floor rhythm. Because of that, he was known as the world's greatest ska drummer. Nib joined the Eric Dean Orchestra in 1953-1954, where he met and performed with some of the best musicians, including some with whom he would later collaborate. They included saxophonist Tommy McCook, trumpeter Baba Brooks, and Lloyd Brevet, with whom Nib would revolutionize Jamaican dance rhythms. Following his tenure with Dean, Nib did an extended residency with Cecil Lloyd on the North Coast. Perhaps the greatest asset of this master drummer was his eclectic taste, exploring extemporaneous rhythms. Without retarding the beat, a feat he mastered, Nib imbued popular Jamaican drumming with his own form and character. It was an innovation which evolved assimilating all the styles, tempo, and collective excitement of not only what had gone before and the lesson learned at Count Azzi, but further elaborated by Pentecostal, revivalist, and Pocomania drumming styles, which including clapping and tambourine, punctuations on the offbeat, and the distribution of these diverse pattern across the trap set. The shuffle beat that was the standard pattern of popular Jamaican music was completely overturned in preference for the new shift of placing the accent on the two and four instead of the one and three that was the norm. It is this synthesis of styles and beat that introduced care at the Studio One camp of Clement Cox and Dad that is accredited to Nib, and for which every drummer in his wake both at home abroad is indebted. The popularity of ska led to the formation of the Scatolites and it was the driving energy of the band. He has performed on over 2,000 recordings backing everyone from Toots and the Natives, the Whalers, Tony Gregory to Jackie Opel, Brooks, McCook, trombonist Dan Drummonds, guitarist Ernie Wrangling, trombonist Raymond Harper and saxophonist Roland Alfonso are some of the instrumentalists who benefited from Nib's innovation. He recorded for the best producers including Dab, Doe Creed, Prince Buster, Lloyd Matidor, Leslie Kong and Moody's. They scatterized this bandit after only 18 months but regrouped in 1983. The band has since recorded several albums and toured the world with appearances across Russia, China, the Philippines, Iceland, Greenland, Mexico, Brazil, Argentina, Japan, West Europe and the United States. Nib had refined dance floor celebration through a complete criminalization process. The result was an unabashed Jamaican beach that can be earned and recorded like Addis Ababa, Smiling, Mad Mad World, Ska La Parisan, Latin Go Ska, and Jackie Opel's The Vow. And these and other vocal songs by the whale of Simmerdown, the mate of Shining Light, and Margarita's Uncle Malunga Man. One experience, the comic and the erroric. Lloyd Nib exemplify musical communication. 
displacing telepathy and empathy without substituting meaningless thrills. That until recently, he continued to turn heads, both in recorded and live situation, is indeed a reflection of the unique sound he created, and he will remain irrelevant because of the sampling of rhythm he and Brevet invented almost 50 years ago. We as music lovers, musicians and musicologists are grateful that Lloyd Nib established an authentic Jamaican rhythmic structure for he too liked the music he made and his achievement has become.